What up, everybody? Uh, so today I want to talk about a component library I've built out that is for building out marketing websites and landing pages. And it uses ShadCN, Tailwind, and React. And so what it is is a collection of components. So there's hero sections, feature sections, CTAs, FAQs, headers, and then footers. And there's probably about 50 components so far, I think, maybe a little less, um, but they're all just able to be copy and pasted into your repo and you can just get going. And so this is built on top of craft, which I did a video about last week. Um, and so that's how it handles all of the design system. And so it's very easy to change the specifics around it. And so I just wanted to demo it today and do kind of like a speed run to build out a landing page. If we go to the documentation on GitHub, um, just github.com slash bridger slash components, um, you'll see that I have a starter that I've built out for this, uh, bridger starter. Um, it's also starter.bridger.to. And if you go there, um, you'll see this is completely set up to work with components and craft. Um, and it includes like a nav bar for us um, so that we can use it quickly and get up and running fast. So what I'm going to do is go to the starter repo. I'll click use this template and create a new repository. And I'll do it in my personal and we'll just call it landing page as an example. Great, and I'll leave it public so you can see it after and I'll link it below. Okay, so now that that's been created, I'm just gonna clone the repo. Run pmpmi to install everything. And then pmpm dev. And so now we're up and running with our starter. Okay, now I'm gonna use cursor and I'll um, CD in the landing pages and then use cursor to open it. Okay, so then you can see it's, it's pretty much just a basic Next.js app with what's been installed is craft um, that will manage all of our layout. There's a couple of Shad CN components, the theme provider, and then the mobile, the nav and the mobile nav um, is all in here. So you can see if we inspect, there's also a mobile nav that gets added in here. Okay, so now we want to start building out our landing page. So let's hop back over to components of Bridger.to. We'll start with the hero. Um, let's use this one, copy it. We'll call LP. Um, and then we'll add in hero.tsx. Boom. That's in there. Make sure all the dependencies work. The image is fetching from placeholder, which is coming from a placeholder.jpg. So let's just go to Unsplash and grab an image and then we'll call it placeholder. Okay, so we'll use this image from Unsplash as our placeholder. So I'm just going to download it, drop it in to public, rename it to placeholder. Okay, cool. Um, so now it's been renamed to placeholder. So now our hero section should work. So let's go to our main page. Uh, this is all that example JSX that's on our home page here. So we're just going to get rid of it. Okay, cool. And then we will import hero from LP. And then let's rename this to hero. Um, and then the container and the section are actually inside of the um, hero. So we actually will not need that. So you can see, there we go. Now we have a hero section set up for us. Okay, cool. So now you can see we have our hero section and then let's add a new section below that. 
Okay, so go to components. Let's pick out a feature section to use. Uh, let's go with this one here. And we'll just copy the code um, into our LP. We'll do uh, feature.tsx. Cool. Um, and then let's grab a FAQ. And we'll copy that. Put it in the folder. FAQ TSX, drop that in, and then let's grab a CTA. Um, we'll just use this one. Looks like the FAQ is needing the accordion, um, so we'll just use ShadCN to install his accordion in here. And then while that's working, we will add inside of LP. Uh, we just grabbed a CTA.tsx. So we'll drop that in there. And then last but not least, a footer.tsx. And we'll get that from here. And we'll just pull in. Uh, this one is good. And then this is pulling this logo from logo.svg. So we'll make sure we have that. Uh, I do have a logo.svg in this craft starter. So yeah, we've added in all the sections. So now we can just import them. So we can do CTA, feature, not pricing, FAQ, and footer. And that's it. Okay, so now we want hero. Then we want, let's do feature. I'm sorry. Let's do feature first. Then I'm going to move FAQ above CTA and then footer. So now let's see what the result is. So now you can see we have a full landing page built out, ready to go, just ready to add in the content for. It looks like our logo is dark um let's see what that is i think i am inverting the image on dark so we'll just all right so i just flipped it so that invert is actually on light mode because this logo is white so um i just inverted it on dark so that that way it will show up on dark mode as well okay great so now you can see we just built a landing page super quick and easy um, and everything is completely editable. So for example, you want a new font, you go to layout. Um, let's, instead of using enter, let's use work uh, sans. Everything now is updated to work sans. Um, let's say you want a new color scheme. Uh, let's go to themes, shad cn. Let's pick out, uh, let's go with the, st uh, slate color scheme and we're just copy the code then we'll go go into our globals go here uh, replace all this um, and then you can go back and see our color scheme is updated we're now like the slate blue color in the background um, then you can go into let's say we want the hero to have uh, bigger text We'll just hop into the hero section and do text 6XL. And then but we'll just make that on a medium frame and then do 4XL on mobile. And you can see, there you go, it's updated, easy. Let's actually do three on mobile, make it look a little cleaner. Great, so now you can see it's a mobile responsive website. Um, it's got everything built out, ready to go, got a nav and everything like that. And so that took us only about 10 minutes. Sweet. Well, thanks for watching and would love to have you give um, components.bridger.to a try. Um, I'm going to continue to make components and to upload them here and then make this better. So 
would love to hear um, your feedback, anything like that. So go give it a star on GitHub. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks.